Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today, we are going to be making a chicken burrito bowl. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. All right, before we get started on this lovely burrito bowl, if this is your first time watching It's Only Food with Chef John Polite, I welcome you. And I also ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there in the corner and then hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time that I upload new content. All right, well, you stopped by and clicked on this video to see me make a chicken burrito bowl. So let's head into the kitchen back here and see what our ingredients are. Yep, and here is the chicken. This is what we cooked. We cooked this last night using some of my chili seasoning and dry smoke rub right here. Uh, I got some visual of that that we shot last night that I will add to the clip here today. Uh, got some sharp cheddar cheese, rice going over there in the rice cooker, avocado, sour cream, black beans, and corn. All right, well, a lot of this dish is, consists of a lot of uh, prep work and then assemblage. So what I'm gonna do now is just go in here and start chopping up everything with a camera on it. We did grill our chicken outside last night, so I'll throw that footage in there as well. But here we go, let's get to work. All right, well these chicken breasts right here, what we're doing for the show, I've just cooked them off a day ahead of time because this is what we're actually eating tonight for dinner. I'm gonna let these get up to temp. I'm gonna let them cool properly, and then I'm gonna bag them up with a little bit more seasoning and put them in overnight to cool in the refrigerator and we will cut those up and put them into our bowls. All right, so I've got frozen corn and the black beans here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, drain it under water to get all that uh, salty brine out of it. And then this is frozen, so I'm going to kind of thaw this out a little bit. Then I'm just going to put them into these two containers here for the assembly line before we make. All right, we've got our chicken. I've got those three breasts here, as you can see here. I'm just going to dice these up. Uh, you can julienne them. You can shred them. I've seen that as well. But I'm just going to dice it up because most of our ingredients are all going to be uh, in a small dice. I've got our corn, our beans, and then I want the chicken and the avocado to be about the same size as as the beans and the corn just for uh, presentation look. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these sliced up and we'll move on to our avocado. All right, got our avocado right here. I'm just gonna turn the avocado all the way around so it splits right open. Then I'm just gonna pop my knife in there and pull that pit right out. Now for this part, you just use your everyday spoon. You want to get in there just like you would a soft boiled egg. And make sure these are ripe too. You don't want to try to do this when they're hard as rock because it doesn't work as well. You just want to get it in there underneath the flesh. Then you got two beautiful pieces of avocado that you can do whatever you'd like with. You can, of course, slice it into slices. But what we're going to do, like I said, is we're just going to dice this up so we have the same kind of size on everything that's in the salad. So let me just dice these up and then we'll get ready for assembling. Alright, as you can see I got all the ingredients for the salad all ready to go. Got our rice, corn, beans, avocado, sour cream, cheese, and chicken. I'm going to set it in this bowl right here. First of all, our rice. Put that right in there on the bottom. I'm gonna add a little more rice to this just to fill it up to the top a little more. All right, then we put our toppings on. Get our chicken. It's kind of like a cob salad in a way. Got the gloves on, meal ready to eat. Cheese. Gonna set it right alongside there. You don't want to put two contrasting colors in the same spot. And little beans on here, right in there. Some of this avocado, Oop, right there. And I'm gonna take the corn. I already got my handful of avocado, so yeah, that's for me. 
There we go. Dollop of sour cream right in the middle. And there it is. All right, you know the drill. I'm going to take some awesome shots of this for social media. I am going to lay some music down in the timeline with those photos. Then we're going to come back and see what this tastes like. Do not go away. It's almost too pretty to touch. Now you notice with those pictures that I took, they all had a kind of a quarter turn to get every element of the salad. Uh, so that's what I did for that with these shots for the, the social media pictures that I put also on the timeline. This looks fantastic. Uh, it smells really good. That chicken is um, stands out in there with because I was nibbling on this waiting for the rice to cook. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it, I guess. So. Get a little bit of everything on here. This will probably be a little easier if I put the camera onto a tripod. But I've got a little bit of everything on that fork. So I'm going to tripod this camera and we'll be able to give this a bite. Wow, yeah. There it is. Cheese, beans, corn, avocado, chicken, and some sour cream. Salsa would be a good idea on this. But... Very good light salad. I'm going to add salsa to this when I eat it. I should have thrown some on there just for color. Um, the chicken's very good, very tender. You can get that grill flavor coming off of there. Uh, also, the seasoning, don't mean to brag, but it is a wonderful product. Um, that avocado just melts in your mouth. The cheese, the corn, the beans, and the sour cream just kind of bring it all together. Once I get that mixed up and everything, it's going to be really, really good. I want to just add one thing here before we close out. Check out that description box below. You'll see two links down there to purchase all of my seasonings. I've got a playlist link down there that shows you how to start your own cooking channel if you choose to do so. And along with that link for that playlist, I'm also got a link for TubeBuddy, which is a tool that every YouTuber needs to check out. And then I have my Amazon store. There's a link for that that's got all the products and all the goodies and gear that I use in the production of this channel. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media links that are down there as well in that description box. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below and then share this video with everybody, everybody you know. Thanks a lot for joining us. We'll see you next time right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye-bye.